across the windows so I can see where I'm driving. All right, what up, everybody? First take, Stephen A. Smith on Kyrie Irving. I think the Cavs already miss Kyrie Irving. Well, of course they're going to miss Kyrie Irving because they ain't winning like they did with him. You know what I'm saying? Even though they didn't win a championship, but they're not winning as much games as they did last year. So, yeah, they miss him, of course. But are they studding him? No, nah, they ain't studding him at all. they like, we got Isaiah. Isaiah can pretty much pick up the scoring where Kyrie picked left off at. So they got other pieces that they needed too. So they're they not really studding him, but, yeah, they miss him. So let's see what Stephen A. Smith talking about. What he's saying. Let's go, man. How much will the Cavs miss Kyrie when it's all said and done? I don't think they will miss him this year when it's all said and done because I think they will achieve the same results they would have achieved anyway, provided Isaiah's health. So that means Isaiah stays healthy. It means he gets his legs under him. It means he's averaging over 30 minutes a game by the time the playoffs come. It means that by then he's back to the Isaiah Thomas. If that's the case, provided that's the case, the Cavs make it to the finals in my opinion. So this year they don't miss Kyrie because they'll lose to Golden State or maybe Houston anyway. The question is, after this year, what does LeBron do? Because if LeBron skips town after this year, or even a year after that, if he has outs every year, however he wants to structure things, then they'll miss Kyrie. Because Kyrie's now, what, 25 years old? And showing himself not just a very talented player, but, le but a legitimate team-carrying superstar. And you're in Cleveland, and in the history of Cleveland, in all the major sports, I've never heard of a free agent you know, who wasn't from there, LeBron James from Akron, uh, clamor to go to Cleveland. You know, free, it's very difficult to attract free agents. And because the organization, you know, is Gilbert at the head of it, fish rocks from the head down, they don't know what to do with their draft picks usually. Like, they were terrible as soon as LeBron left and great as soon as he came back again. It's all about LeBron. So if LeBron leaves, who's going to carry LeBron. the torch going forward? Well, they had Kyrie Irving. And had they locked him up long term and made that a priority, they could have withstood the absence of LeBron and remained a relevant franchise. But they didn't do that. Kyrie is gone. And if LeBron James skips town too, Man, that's it. are they going to miss Kyrie? So I'm going to say not this season, Stephen A., but going forward, if LeBron leaves, they're going to miss him a lot. Well, first of all, I think they already miss him, A. And B, I think it's possible they may miss him a hell of a lot more before this season is over. I am losing a little faith in the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ooh. Now, do, does that mean that I definitively am willing to say they're not coming out of the East? No. No. Okay. I am telling Boy, you, however, if, you if said I that thought I'd that it I'd was a pretty hey, sure I'd lock, turn like you a 95 I'd to 100 percent chance that the Cleveland Cavaliers were coming out of the East, I am now going to dip that to about 60%. I think the Boston Celtics, they got a six and a half game lead on the Cleveland Cavaliers, although road and going on the road in the playoffs does not affect LeBron James. I was at the game January 3rd when Cleveland came into Boston and got ran out of the building. I'm looking at a Boston Celtics team Boston that playing. defends. We're so caught up in the greatness of, of, of Kyrie Irving. And if it wasn't for the red shirt freshman that is a rookie of the year to be in Ben Simmons in Philadelphia, I don't think there's any question we'd be looking at Jason Tatum as the rookie of the year for the Boston oh, yeah. Celtics. I'm thinking about the Inclusive. length and athleticism of Jalen Brown with Jason Tatum. I'm thinking about the toughness Brown, of a Marcus Tatum. Smart with a Terry Rozier. Man, I'm thinking about the coaching plane. of a Brad Stevens who know what to do against an Isaiah Thomas and might know how to exploit that because that's his former player. Right. Combined with the greatness of a Kyrie Irving, if, for no if nothing else, knows how to close. And I'm telling you right now, I am not going to summarily dismiss Boston's chances of knocking off uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, I know I've said stuff like Miami's coming. And I truly believe that because they could they could sneak up on somebody. I think they're a sleeper within the Eastern Conference. The Washington Wizards, I went off about them yesterday, Max, because I believe in this team, if they play right, yeah, they, that they can make some noise. I'm disgusted can, with them right because right. they're not doing what they're supposed to do. It's not because I don't believe in them. It's because I do believe in them, and I think they're disappointing me. But the Boston Celtics man. defend, they, they like and Cleveland year, isn't doing that. And that's where the problem lies.
Yes, but I think they will be doing it by the time the playoffs roll around. They're gonna. We knew that there was going to be a drop off defensively, even if Isaiah was. Is 100%. Isaiah Thomas going to gain five inches? Is he going to gain five inches? The thing. In we knew. Nope. We knew there'd be a drop off. Isaiah, Kyrie to Isaiah defensively because of that. There's no two ways about it. They're going to have to figure that out. But they also added Crowder. And, and there will be moments when, even if Isaiah's on the floor, the other guys will be J.R. Smith, who can defend, LeBron James, who can defend, Crowder, who can defend, and when Thompson's on the floor, Thompson, who can defend, and if they want to go more offense, Kevin Love, and if they go Love, who's not a great defender, obviously, boy, that offense is impossible to stop if it's clicking. So they, they did, of That's course, go down in terms man. of peak value in one player from Kyrie to Isaiah, but in other ways, they probably got better and deeper. I, I think if Isaiah is healthy, they well, beat Boston, Stephen A. LeBron's still that good. What are the th Man. Like I said, they don't miss him. They don't, I mean, they don't miss him. They don't miss him. Is they studding? Yeah, they studding. All right, man. Tell me what you think, man. If you like it, hit that comment down below. No, hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment. Peace out.